Now, strictly speaking, what is it that the IITs provide? The IITs provide first tremendous set of opportunities. Everybody talks, knows about the placement opportunities. Everybody knows about placement opportunities because these are widely publicized and we all know about the fantastic kind of placements that the IITs get. Uh, Google, Facebook, Microsoft, um, Goldman Sachs, Deutsche Bank, uh, Qualcomm, Tower Research, all of these companies from a variety of backgrounds, not just IT alone, consultancy, banking, FMCG, okay, good manufacturing companies, multinational companies like Schlumberger, all of these companies go to IITs and they do not go to whatever companies that I have listed now, do not go to your ordinary engineering colleges. So there itself, one opportunity missed. That means however good you are, the next four years you decide, okay, I've, uh, I, I've done a mistake. Perhaps I've not done well till 12th class. From now onwards, I will get into say XYZ engineering college and uh, work very well. However hard you work the next four years, you will, you will simply not have access to these kind of companies because they'll not come to your campus wherever you are. So first thing is that opportunity is gone. Second, most people focus only on the placement opportunities. There are a whole lot of other opportunities that you will be getting at the IITs. What are these opportunities? Say, for example, internships. Say, for example, projects. So, in fact, most of the IITs get placed through just internships. They get the PPO, a pre-placement offer, without even going through a final interview because they've got an internship at the very same companies that I've mentioned right now. They work in those companies for two months, three months, whatever, uh, uh, during the vacation. And based on that work, they get their placements, pre-placement offers. So that internship or project opportunities also you don't get. Also, a uh, lot of IATMs now are going to, uh, say, US and other countries to do their um, exchange program. So one semester, they will go and do uh, an exchange program abroad. <clears throat> Just imagine the kind of uh, kind of exposure that these students do get by just doing their uh, exchange program. Okay, so a number of opportunities like this exist as far as the IATNs are concerned. Apart from opportunities, you also have what are known as experiences. Because IIT is a different experience and I see that every year among my students after they come back, after one semester itself, I see a completely transformed individual, an individual who's got, uh, who was never communicative here in the college, suddenly goes there, becomes a social, uh, very, very, uh, 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 very, very communicative, very, very forthcoming, very confident of himself, speaks very well. So I see that just in six months. So just imagine four years what kind of uh, value addition takes place in the IITs. No wonder, because we are talking about uh, about 10 lakh students appearing for this exam and, uh, six, uh, and just about 12,000 students getting selected. So what you're going to do is you're going to live with, uh, live in for four years with some of the best in your batch. So that experience you'll be missing if you're not there with the IITs. Also, experience in terms of conducting mega fests, cultural fests, technical fests, and some of these IITs, the budget itself for each of these fests is a couple of crores. Just imagine you at that young age managing these things or being a part of these kind of shows and what kind of exposure you would get. Exposure not only in terms of these things, exposure in terms of, you know, uh, best faculty, exposure in terms of technology, good labs, exposure also in terms of the kind of people that you come across because IITs are national institutions. So you would not just meet just Telugu people or people from Telangana or Andhra Pradesh, you would meet people from all over the country and uh, in some cases, even foreign students. So you will get exposed to culture, you will get exposed to a different language that will make you a wholesome individual. And I always tell people, 
that that is one of the reasons why you should be looking at an institution outside of your home state because as long as you stay in telangana or you, as long as you stay in andhra pradesh your exposure to these kind of uh, people this kind of cultures is very very limited and at a young age you need you need this kind of exposure so that you become a wholesome individual also networking now what do i mean by networking your peer group in any iit you would be exposed to three years three senior batches and three junior batches and your batch so we are talking about seven years students belonging to seven batches so and all of these guys belonging to all these seven years few years from now will be the movers and shakers not just in the technology domain but also in banking in manufacturing in public service because a whole lot of people from the iits today are getting into civil services some of them are ias officers ips officers and all of it and this opportunity to network with all these people and form friendships with these people and this is going to stay an advantage throughout your life because you are going to be friends with these kind of people and once you have exposure to these kind of people you can use these networks to go ahead in life whenever you need help whenever you need a reference whenever you need um, to go ahead uh, whenever you need access to a particular company whenever you get need a job reference whenever you need to get some work done in a government department all of these networks are going to help and finally the brand iit is a super brand it's a time tested brand it's been there all over uh, all over the world it is recognized and once you have that chapa on your bio data it is going to stay with you for life 